So, do you want to know how you can fast farm, you know, amongst high speed plowing like this? Or really high speed seeding like this, 75 kilometers an hour? Or even stone picking at a really unrealistic speed? Stick around and I'll show you the details and the mods that you're gonna need for these. So, first fast farming tip is about plowing and I'm going to show you how you can do this in small scale but also uh, on a slightly bigger scale. Um, you only need two mods to do this um, and those two mods are these two little fellows here. First of all, this guy here is called the Lizard Weight. Pretty um, simple and easy. And this one here is a part of a pack called Lizard 600, 900. I think it is. I'm going to show you uh, where you find these two. Uh, the reason why you need to have two is because uh, if you only have the Lizard uh, weight, uh, the plow can be a little bit too high. So what this one is creating is a little bit of a, of a slack, so to speak. So if you go into weights, the first one, the lizard weight is this guy here. Lizard 500 kilos. The only thing you need to remember on this one is to whoop, take it with those catch hooks. Next weight pack is this one here, the lizard 900 and the 650. So these two here are one pack, so to speak. Uh, also here on this one, remember to have it with a tree point. So let's first of all uh, test it out in a small scale. I'm gonna attach these two. There we go. And this weight here is, well not this weight, but this plow here is an ordinary in-game small plow. Uh, let's see, should I ruin the field here? Yeah, let's do that. Let's see if we can uh, extend this field a little bit. So, if you look uh, on this plow here, the speed on this is usually 12 kilometers an hour. This tractor here has a top speed of 43. So let's uh, see now. Now also the um, what you need to remember is to keep the weight uh, up like they are now and only lower the plow. So I'm going to lower the plow. I hope this one works now. It should do. And then I'm going to uh, click on allow create fields. Boop, like so. Cruise control on. And we are plowing small scale. But we are go <laughs> we are going 30, 35. Uh, yeah, we should reach 43, but you know, so that's small scale. Uh, but now let's go to the big boy, the uh, Mack Trucker case tra uh, tractor, and also the uh, Lizard. What is it? SM882. So here we go, let's go big scale, I've connected the weights and I just wanted to show you when you are hooking these, especially this um, big plow here, it is a little bit wiggling as you can see when I'm turning now. Uh, one good thing about that is it's very flexible, so if you are running into trees or hedges or anything like that, <laughs> it's gonna make life a little bit easier, but uh, um, once you are on the field and it's being lowered, you know what, I'm not gonna ruin my whole field here, so I think I'm just gonna extend this bone. You're gonna see it's still working as it should do, and as you can see, it's wiggling a little bit. So also here, only lower the plow, boop, like so, and now you can see it doesn't do anything because we need to allow create fields Boop, like so cruise control on and I need to uh, pull my heading here 
I don't want to ruin the whole. <laughs> but as you can see here, we are plowing in what 28 meter, and speed is going up to oh, yeah, the speed of the tractor. There we go. I'm gonna need the feel here uh, for the next couple of um, fast farming trick we're gonna do. So there we go. That's the uh, fast farming plowing. <laughs> It's a little bit wiggling, but flexible. So, next one is all about mowing and all about the in game uh, Krone Big M mower. Uh, as you probably remember on FS19, we could double tap on this one, uh, and we can also now on FS22. <laughs> so let's start it up, let's uh, unfold it, lower it, and I'm just gonna go first of all, normal speed, cruise control, so that's gonna mean, what, 20, 25 is it? Yeah, 25 kilometers an hour, that's the maximum speed. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna L1 and double tap X. Boop, boop. Like so, it's lifting up the uh, front mower a little bit, but that doesn't matter. Cruise control on, and now let's see what kind of speed we're getting. There we go, 30, 35. So I thought that was, I, I didn't know about this until maybe a week ago, uh, when I saw Driver53 did it, and I thought, wow, didn't know this. On FS22 it was working, but yeah, and now we're going to take this one to, yeah, a step further. So, stepping up the game a little bit when it comes to mowing, uh, as you see now, I have two Krone Big M, and they are different, even though they seem very similar, very similar. There's one little thing with this guy here. This is the one that came with the, uh, oh, what's the, um, yeah, yeah, that pack. <laughs> I'm going to show you in the mod hub, the, but the difference is, is on the back. Like she said, this one is the in-game one. Nothing on the back here. This one here has a PTO. Which means you can also run a baler and baler or trailer. Uh, this one here is the uh, quick quick baler by what was it? To to Mark Mark Tor. Um, but first of all, what this called? Let's go into mowers. This is the in-game Big M450. Now this one is a part of the mower and wrapper hitch mod. Uh, which also comes with a wrapper, yeah. And the baler, you know, most of you probably know this already, but, you know, there could be new people who have never seen this before, and it's this one, the quick, quick bale. This one is the quick bale, which does 25 kilometers an hour. This one here does 40 kilometers an hour, but not only that, the pickup width, is much wider than an ordinary baler. So let's jump into this one. Let's unfold that little fellow. Get back there, buddy. Now, to be honest, I haven't. I have tried out the uh, mower and the baler together, but not with the um, uh, bale collector on the back. So, first of all, I need to change this one to swat dropping. I'm gonna turn it on, I'm gonna lower it, and also on this one, let's just start it here so it's get all the way. Also on this one, you can uh, L1 and boop boop, double tap, and you can see the front mower uh, just lifted a little bit. Then I'm gonna move over to the baler, I'm gonna turn that one on and lower it. And on the bale loader, I'm gonna put that into operating position. Back to the mower, cruise control on. So now we should be. Oh, that's a little bit heavy. Why isn't that? Oh, there we go. It took a while before it got up to speed. 
But now you can see we are uh, mowing, we are windrowing, we are baling, we are wrapping, and hopefully boop, picking up bales in one go in 40 kilometers an hour. You know, on no man's land like this, or on western wilds, you just have to have this set of her. <laughs> so, we are on to, what is it, number three? Uh, I think I'm gonna call this the forage header fast mowing something. <laughs> so, for this one, you're gonna need, um, yeah, this one here comes with a warning. Um, I'm gonna come back to that pretty soon. But first of all, what do you need? Well, you need this one here, which is an in-game uh, Lakutec forage header, which you can connect to your tractor. This is pretty heavy, by the way. Uh, and then you need a forage header, grass mower, um, which also includes the tool height control for harvesters. So first of all, where do you find this one? into tools and forage harvester headers and it's the first one it's this guy here 2.9 ton so yeah it's heavy trust me uh, and for a header scroll all over to where you get your tool height control for headers so i've tested it with this one it's working pretty good and this one here which is 0 0.1 meter wider it's also working pretty good and then the most important thing you need, first of all, you need a pretty heavy tractor, but you are gonna need a, um, a weight on the back. And uh, this is probably my favorite weight. Um, first of all, you can change it um, a lot of different uh, sizes, but also on the back here, you have both a pin hitch and a ball hitch. So it doesn't matter which kind of trailer you have. Now this one here is the Lizard TARDIS XL with a pin hitch and this one here is the in-game Bergman. This has a ball hitch and this weight here will connect to both of them. So the warning. First of all the weight. Uh, so if you connect this one here and the header even with this big fat tractor here it's too heavy. It, it's just too heavy <laughs> so I'm gonna need to disconnect that one I'm gonna connect to this one and then this should be good so this way this way there now is 1750 you could probably go 2000 with it um, and as you can see here it's gonna connect to both of these I'm just gonna take this one now Boop. so the big warning I need my help window there buddies uh, I'm gonna go to the header or the forage pickup pipe out Boop. it's gonna locate the um, trailer all nice and good then I'm gonna turn it on and lower it I'm gonna switch to the front mower I'm gonna lower that one now here's the thing as you can see here now, nothing is happening. And this is what I'm um, referring to, the big warning. This one here, this setup here will not work on, what should I say, periphery grass. Grass which you haven't uh, seeded by yourself. So what I need to do, what I had to do uh, while I was testing this, I had to move over to Elm Creek. So let's move over to Elm Creek and see if this one works. So, we are on Elm Creek. More or less same setup, uh, different header. The other header which I showed you and the other trailer. Other than that, it's the exact same setup. Uh, I flew over all the equipment. So yeah, this, this test here, by the way, uh, is definitely taking its time. That, that's for sure. <laughs> But as you can see now, I'm on uh, the periphery grass, and as you can see here, it's not working. Uh, but I do have a field here full of grass, so I'm just gonna put it on cruise control, boop, like so. And once I'm in my field, 
that it's working. And with this setup here, uh, you're gonna get up to the speed of the tractor. As you can see here now, I'm doing 60, 62. <laughs> I'm assuming with uh, maybe what, what, yeah, maybe the the John Deere 4755. You can get up to what a hundred maybe with this one. But yeah, it, it's working like a charm. Can you hire a worker? I have no idea. Let's check it out. Hire a worker. Oh, uh, it was on a bad angle. Let's uh, let's see here. Let's go in this angle here, and boop, hire a worker. Oh yeah. Oh, I can't run that fast. Hey, buddy. So, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, it's a great one. Let's see what it's doing uh, on the end here. Will he turn around? Yeah, no problem. So yeah, it's working pretty good. Like I said, uh, with the warning, you need to be on the field uh, where it's planted grass already. It doesn't work on periphery grass. Yay! Moving on well, to the next one, which I'm going to call Pin Hitch Fast Farming. Yeah, I think so. Pin Hitch Fast Farming. And for this one, you're only going to need one item. And that is this little fellow here. Yeah, you've seen it before. Or maybe not. But this is the Lizard Self-Made Weight by our good friend Polycount Taz. Uh, so what this has is a three-point link on one side and a pin hitch on the back side and if you have uh, i'm gonna show you now with the cedar like this one the solitaire 12 meter but also with a plow earlier we showed off uh, fast farming with a plow with a three point with this setup here but if you have a plow like this with a pin hitch it's also possible so let's jump into this one well, the weight, of course. <laughs> Where do you find it? Well, on the weights, and it's this one. And it's only 500 to buy. And I do recommend, if you're going to do this, have this only for fast farming, to have it as light as possible. You can have it all the way up to 2,100 kilo. But yeah, now we're just going to have fun and do some fast farming. So... Connect to that one, connect to the cedar, and away we go. And also here, with this waiter, uh, you need to be sure that it's in the, um, what should I say, the upright position. So don't uh, don't lower your PTO, no, your three point, have it in the upright position like so, and only lower the cedar. Pull out there, I'm gonna turn on the cedar, I'm gonna lower it, and this cedar here has, uh, what, I think it is, is it 15 kilometers an hour? Yeah, 15 kilometers an hour, cruise control on, we are seeding wheat, in 35, 40, yeah, as fast as the tractor and the environment will allow you to. Whoop! I'm going to turn it off and let's uh, test it out with the uh, John Deere plow. So, same thing here. I just discovered I don't want wheat here on my ground. I want some corn. So, same thing here. Same principle, same hookup. I'm going to go over here and I'm going to lower the plow. Boop, like so. Cruise control on. This plow here is actually pretty good. 16.7 meters. And with this weight there, you can plow in 50, 60, 70 kilometers an hour. Yeah, I don't have create fields on. I don't want to ruin. The oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, yeah okay. <laughs> so that's the, um, that's the lizard self-made weight. The Pintage Fast Farming by Polycount Taz. 
So for the next one, yeah, we cannot uh, do anything fast farming without the Colossus pack. The Colossus pack has just grown and grown and grown. Uh, a time of recording in what August 2023. This, these are the ones within the Colossus Harvester pack. Now there are some things you need to be aware of when you're choosing the different uh, items here. But uh, yeah, I'm using this uh, pretty often. Um, at time of recording, we have four different harvesters. Uh, we have the normal lizard clauses which does your normal crop types you have your beet harvester which you can also use for um, uh, uh, potatoes and you got the cotton harvester i tried this one on carpathian i was doing cotton in 65 kilometers an hour the ground speed so to speak um, the driving speed is 69 and the harvesting speed is 65. This is crazy. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, like I said, I'm, I'm going to show you a little bit in the mod hub or in the shop where you can find all of these and uh, some shortcuts. So let's start with this little fellow here on the harvesters. Uh, is this little guy here. So one thing to note is also the configuration now it's on 15,000 liter you can have a 72,000 liter 19,000 liter or 153,000 liter so yeah and also the engine capacity up to 1500 horsepower and then there's a bunch of lights and color options um so yeah go wild with this one now the header is another thing I, i've missed out a little bit on the header here but the easiest easiest thing to do when you are on the harvester if you are on playstation 5 as i am press down r3 for combination then you get all the headers which follows this one um so the the one that i'm uh, usually having is this one here uh this is the unreal one and the unreal about this one is of course the speed which is 75 no 70 kilometers an hour you can also have it without the wheel setup this one here the titan header unreal same speed 70 kilometers an hour i think there's it's the same width 13.8 and 13.7 oh, there we go and also a corn header so yeah, just uh, be aware to choose the correct one. Um, I don't have any big fields on this test mapper, but I'm, I'm going to show you just uh, a little bit here. Um, you can see the speed already. We're up to 60 kilometers an hour, 70 kilometers an hour. <laughs> so yeah, it, it's a beast, uh, both when it comes to capacity and speed. There we go. So that's the that's the harvester uh, part of it. Uh, next one is this one, which is also a little bit well not tricky to find, but uh, also here you can use the same method uh, with the header. So this one you will find under B technology, and there we go, Colossus root harvester. And here you have to be sure that you are choosing the right one. I'm going to show you which I us myself are usually going for. As you can see here, there's a lot of different uh, options. Um, you have sugar beet standard, potato standard, both unrealistic, both ultra unrealistic. So I usually go for this one if I'm going to do some testing or something. Um, the only difference is the capacity. This one has 253,000. And this one, 500,000. And then you better crank it up to 1,500 horsepower. <laughs> and also here, headers go into combination. Here it can also, you, it's easy to trip here. Let's just put it like that. The first two here is sugar beet and potato. Uh, normal speed, 17 kilometers an hour. And then you come over to sugar beet and potato unrealistic. And that is a bit faster, 75 kilometers an hour. So I think 
I'm pretty sure I've uh, taken the right one now here. Lizard, sugar beet, header, unrealistic. There we go. Let's put this on and cruise control. And let's get ourselves some uh, sugar beets. The only thing now, the next thing now is uh, could we get a wider pickup header on console? Only the mod maker will uh, know. But yeah, this closest pack has just evolved and evolved and more and more different headers and harvesters. I think it's a great pack. A really great pack. And yeah, as I said, this one here, uh, I'm not able to test, but trust me, it, it's a quick one. <laughs> and also here, it's really easy to trip uh, taking the first one here. Um, this is the normal speed, so to, sp so to speak, 14 kilometers an hour. Whilst this one, you can see the work speed is 65 kilometers an hour. So that's the Colossus Harvester Pack. Moving on to the next one. And yeah, since we are into Harvester, we need to have the tool height control for Harvester in here, of course. So I, I pulled out the in-game uh, Deutzfahrt Topliner. Um, you know, just to show you, you don't have to go big. You know, if you are running on a really small and tight uh, map, um, you know, all of these English map with hedges around and everything, and you need to have a small harvester, um, you can go fast. So, um, with the two light control for harvester, the, uh, you have ordinary headers, you have corn and sunflower headers, but it also includes, you know, forage harvester headers. So uh, this one here, the Deutsch top liner, has usually a top speed of when harvesting uh, 10 kilometers an hour. But now, you know, you're doing some small farming, but you, you just want to have a little bit more speed. So with this mod here installed, um, you can go up to 20 kilometers an hour. And again, also here, just be aware of uh, that you can't trip and fall. Uh, what I'm saying that is when you go into headers, don't take this header here. Be sure that you scroll all over to this one, which says tool height control for headers. Not too, not, not tool height control for uh, harvesters, which I am calling it. So also on this one, um, so on the forage harvester headers, also there, scroll over all the way until you see the tool height control for headers. Now the the, uh, the forage harvester, which I have, is also a great one. Um, honorable mention on this one, it's the class Jaguar 960 990. This one here is pretty great. Um, I, I like the the color palette on this one. You can have it, you know, a green satin color like so, like I have it, or yeah, you can mix and match uh, as you want. Let's turn this on and cruise control on. Uh, oh, I need to open the cover maybe. There we go. <laughs> it's an in-game, uh, in-game ordinary forage trailer, and as you can see here, speed is going up to the speed of the forage hamster. And we're getting Jeff. Moving on world to the next one, and it's all about seeding. Seeding fast and seeding with a lot of capacity. Couple of mods you need to have here. First of all, um, this uh, crazy guy here, the Lizard Goods Global Goods Transport Palette by 82 Square Studio. Uh, this will hold more or less everything. Um, so what I filled it with now, it's 200,000 liter with seeds, and yes, I'm on console, but I can carry this one. 
<laughs> either if it's full or it's empty you can carry it and also here it's important that you have it with discharge end towards the tractor uh, this got an uh, an update uh, that's a month ago uh, where he put the discharge and auto load function on each side so be sure that we have the discharge against your tractor on the back here we have a really small cedar but it's really eff efficient and it's 20 meters spreading width it's a cedar it's not a direct cedar it's yeah it's a kind of a strange one but it's working like a germ um it, you can also have this with a trolley if you want and it also comes with a fertilizer um kit so to speak so first of all uh the pallet the pallet you will find under yeah big bags <laughs> and it's just over here so you can have it as 10,000 liter or 200,000 liter and really nice thing about this one if you don't have a thousand dollar you can lease it <laughs> i know you can lease it for 51 dollar uh and also you have the same one here this is for all your liquids same capacities um let's see cedars so if you move over to cedars um i didn't find it in the beginning because it wasn't on the end of my list but here we go this is the massive ferguson 213 and valtra bdf 1300 so you can have it as a massive ferguson or um a valtra and they are both doing the same and if you move over and if, as you can see 20 meter wide and it does all your normal crop types it only can hold 1300 liter but you know the pallet is taking care of that so if you move over to fertilizer spreaders you have the same uh, same fellow here so as I said, if you don't want to have it just like so, you can have it with a trolley or tree combination, and you can have this adaption trailer to hook it on to the top, you know, if it's getting a little bit back heavy. So what I have done here now, um, I have filled this one here with just a bit, only 93 liters with seeds, as you can see. And uh, once I connect to this one, you can see in the bottom right corner whoop, now I have 200,093 liters but that's not the only thing about this guy here it's, a, it's of course the speed and the fact that you are seeding uh, without even having anything down on the ground and with, with um, the John Deere 4755 by Dominic um i am i actually haven't the this is not the fastest one the fastest one can do 150 this is only 75 but here we go i'm gonna turn the cedar on 20 meter cedar and we are doing 75 kilometers an hour and just to double check on the map here now we should there we go we should get <laughs> we are having wheat so yeah you you can go um, I know it's a bit unrealistic that you're seeding uh, in mid-air so to speak but um, yeah it's working and as you can see now if I disconnect the let's see let's this let's turn it off and let's disconnect the pallet Boop, like so now you can see the cedar on the back is empty but it's gonna it's gonna just uh, chunk away because i got 200,000 liters in the pallet <laughs> this is a nice one so stone picking stone picking is not um, well, the funniest thing I do, but now we have a lot of great of mods, great of mods, great mods out there to pick up uh, rocks. So for this one here, uh, you need actually you only need one uh, mod for this one, and that's the Lizard Self-Made Weight by Polycon Taz, 
which we have used earlier. Uh, so this will work with both the in-game stone picker, and, but, but it will also work with the uh, big uh, stone picker by, I, I want to say, Mark Trucker. But the, this, uh, this is a wide one, it's a 9 meter one. Uh, but the capacity on this one is, well, only 2,500, but it's much wider. But now, we got this one. <laughs> now, this is this is definitely by Mike Trucker 921 is it and it's got a really wide pickup I think it's like 20 meter but the capacity is um, 250,000 liter now the only thing we need on this one is speed and hopefully we're gonna get that with this guy here so the self-made weight is a given one, uh, you'll find that on the weights. This guy here, you'll find on the stone pickers. And yeah, it, you just need to be sure if you have a lot of stones to change the capacity to unrealistic. 75, 150, 200 and 250,000 liter. <laughs> and also here uh, you have a ton uh, I mean, a ton. I've never seen a bigger color palette than this. Uh, and you can have it with a cover or, or not. So I think we're going to try it with this one. I know it's working with this one and this one. Uh, but first of all, I, I need some stones. And yeah, I'm going to use this guy. Allow create fields. And I'm just going to... Yeah, create myself um, a line here in what 50 60 kilometers an hour plowing. Are we getting in stones? Yeah. So here we go. I made myself um, an airline stripper <laughs> with stones. <laughs> so we got the fast farming uh, weight and 250,000 liter and yeah, 16 meter wide. So let's see if we can get some speed. Uh, like I said, I haven't tested this. Uh, so I need to turn it on. I need to lower the stone picker. Uh, the same thing here, I assume. Uh, don't lower the weight. And I'm just gonna press cruise control on here. And oh yeah. Oh yeah. We are picking up stones in 75 kilometers an hour now. And with that capacity, you're never gonna be uh, worried about stones anymore. Not even here on No Man's Land or Western Wilds or wherever you're playing. I know it's unrealistic, it's fast, but you know, sometimes you just wanna have um, you wanna have things done the clever way. <laughs> so that's fast farming, stone picking. 